a big hello to all of you how are you all yes fine very good children and i know you all are studying at home you all are very good children yes happy to see me again okay so today we are starting a new subject yes which subject see this animals yes we are going to study science today and by observing these animals do you have any idea what are we going to study today what is our topic today yes no let me tell you today we are going to start lesson number 1 in science and which are these animals horse cow pig sheep yes they are domestic animals yes so today we are going to study about domestic animals that is lesson number 1 in science first we will understand the meaning of domestic animals what are domestic animals the animals which help us to fulfill our different needs like food to carry loads traveling riding etc so those animals are domestic animals the animals which we can see around us in our day to day life those animals are domestic animals for example can you all give me some example of domestic animals yes anyone knows i will give you horse camel cow buffalo goat dog all these are domestic animals let's start and see which are domestic animals the first animal is cow let's read the spelling a uh, when there is only a written then we have to read it as a uh. a uh, c o w cow a uh, cow which animal is this cow cow gives us milk yes what do we get from cow cow gives us milk yes and cow's milk is very healthy for us we all should drink cow's milk every day yes cow likes to eat grass and leaves okay so let's move ahead and we'll see the next animal goat a uh, when there is only a we have to read it as a uh. a uh, g o a t goat a uh, goat this is goat yes goat is also a milk giving animal we get milk from goat even we get meat from goat yes goat also likes to eat grass and leaves goat is a domestic animal next one is buffalo let's read the spelling of buffalo a b u double f a l o buffalo double f means your f is written twice means two times so we will say double f a buffalo this is buffalo and buffalo is a domestic animal like cow and goat buffalo is also a milk giving animal buffalo's milk is full of fat it is also a healthy milk for us buffalo is black in color yes children so we get milk from cow goat and buffalo yes all these three animals are milk giving animals let's move ahead this is which animal horse yes have you all sat on the horse yes for horse riding let's read the spelling first a v 
we have to read it as a h o r s e horse a horse this is the picture of horse horse is used for traveling yes in olden days when there were no vehicles people used horse for traveling people used to go from one place to another on horse especially in olden days yes children are you all getting children yes next is donkey donkey is a domestic animal yes donkey is a domestic animal let's read the spelling a d o n k e y donkey a donkey donkey is a hard working animal donkey help us to carry heavy loads yes donkey is somewhat similar like horse but donkey is shorter than horse but it has longer ears next one which is the next animal camel where is the camel walking in the desert a c a m e l camel a camel this is camel camel is a domestic animal camel also helps us to carry heavy loads and it is useful in traveling in desert for the people who are living over there to travel from one place to another yes so camel is also a domestic animal and it is also known as the ship of the desert yes okay children now which is the next animal dog now do you know there are some pet animals which people keep them for their companionship and entertainment yes dog is one of those animals dog is a pet animal and dog helps us to guard our house from thieves let's move ahead and the next one is also cat see here black cat cat is a pet animal people keep cat as their pet at home cat catches mice and the next one is sheep a s h w -E, e p sheep a sheep sheep gives us wool yes sheep gives us wool and that wool is used for making woolen clothes okay children now we will do the activity which is given behind the lesson in your textbook first we will do match the following yes children remove your textbook and we have to do match the following which is the first picture over here on this side on your left hand side yes first picture is of cow now we have to see options which are given on the other side so what does cow gives us cow gives us eggs right no then milk yes we get milk from cow so now what we have to do we have to match by drawing the line we have to match cow and draw the line and join to the milk cow gives us milk like this you have to do match the following the next one which animal is this sheep yes sheep is domestic animal now what do we get from sheep eggs no milk but it is already matched with cow the third one what is this wool we get wool from sheep so we will match sheep with wool by drawing a line start from sheep to the wool 
Okay, the next one. Goat. This is the picture of goat. Now, what do we get from goat? These two things are left. Eggs? No. Then, what is this? Meat. We get milk and meat from goat. So, here we will match with meat. Draw the line starting from goat to meat. We get meat from goat. And the last one is hen. Hen gives us eggs. So, we will match hen with eggs. Draw the line starting from hen till eggs. Like this way you have to match and complete match the following. The next question is name five domestic animals. Here dash is given. We have to write names of five domestic animals. We have seen so many domestic animals but from that any five names we have to write. Can you all name five animals? Five domestic animals? Yes? Come on. It is very easy for you now. Cat, dog, goat, sheep, horse. Many animals are there. Okay. Let's start writing. But in this the first letter should be cursive capital of the spelling. Let's write the spelling of cat first. So, how we are going to write? Observe carefully. First, we have to write cursive capital C. Be careful in writing. See, first letter I have written capital. Now, we will write A and then join the next letter T. C, A, T, cat. First letter should be cursive capital in this spelling. Now, after cat, the next animal, can you all name? We will write dog. First letter of dog is D. It should be cursive capital. Cursive capital D. O. O should be cursive small. And then join next letter G. D O G dog. Now the next animal will write. Which animal now? Next spelling we will write of cow. First letter should be cursive capital in this spelling. Cursive capital C O W cow. See I am not lifting my hand while joining O and W. And the first letter should be cursive capital. After cow we will write spelling of sheep. First letter cursive capital, cursive capital S, then H, do proper loop in H, then double E means two times E we have to write and then after P, sheep, sheep is domestic animals, S, H, double E, P, sheep, ok, so in the last one, in the fifth blank, what we will write? We will write spelling of goat. Let's write first letter cursive capital. Cursive capital G. Then join next letter O. Then A. And the last one is T. G O A T. Goat. Now children, if you write all the letters capital like this. This will become wrong. Only the first letter should be cursive capital. Rest of the letters should be cursive small. And write properly by touching this dash. Your spelling should not fly here and there. Okay. Now let's move towards question answers. Question number one is, now children in your four line book, the left side part is margin. So, you don't have to write in margin. 
but there we will write question number 1 answer number 1 question 2 answer 2 like that we have to write so first we will write in the margin question number 1 write cursive capital q small dash 1 question number 1 question is what w H A T what? Now children, you have to start writing by touching this red line near to the red line. Don't leave so much space and write. What does, now leave space of one finger and write the next word. Does D O E S. What does Han give us? Now we have to do question mark when the question is over. So, how we will do question mark? Like this, starting from the top red line, first you have to do semicircle, then standing line, small standing line and put dot. Like this, we have to do question mark. The question is over. Now, what is the question? What does hen give us? What does hen give us? What do we get from hen? Eggs. Yes. So, in the answer we have to write, in the margin we will write cursive capital A, A small dash 1, answer 1 and we are going to write only one word answer. So, the answer is eggs. What is the spelling of eggs? E double G S. Start the answer near to this margin line. Red line, don't keep so much space from here only. We have to write spelling of eggs. First letter should be cursive capital always. E double G means two times G S. Eggs. Answer is over. So at the end of the answer, we have to put full stop. Full stop means small dot. Question number 2 is, let us write question 2 in margin cursive capital Q small dash 2. Question is, name one animal which give us milk. Let us write the question. Start writing near the red line, margin line. Name N A M E. Name one, only one name we have to write, one milk giving G I V I N G giving animal a n i m a l now here we have to put full stop name one milk giving animal. What will be the answer? We will write cow in the answer. We have to write only one word answer. So, here we will write in the margin cursive capital A small dash 2. Answer number 2 and the answer is cow. Write the answer first letter should be cursive capital always in the answer. C 
कर्सिव कैपिटल सी ओ डब्ल्यू काउ सी ओ डब्ल्यू काउ फुल स्टॉप आंसर इज ओवर क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री विच एनिमल गिव्स अस वुल लेट्स राइट द क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री विच एनिमल कर्सिव कैपिटल डब्ल्यू एच आई सी एच विच एनिमल ए एन आई एम ए एल विच एनिमल गिव्स जी I V E S. Which animal gives us U S S? Bull. W Double O L. Bull. Then question mark. Which animal gives us bull? Answer is. Sheep. Let's write answer number three. Cursive capital A. Small dash three. Answer three. What is the answer over here? Sheep. Let's write. Write by touching this red line and the first letter should be cursive capital. Cursive capital S. H. Double E means two times E P sheep. Full stop. When the answer is over, you have to put full stop. Only the first letter should be capital. Rest of the letters should be cursive small. The next question is question number four. Which animal is used for riding? Do you all know? We have already studied about it. Yes, the answer is horse. Let's write question number four. Question four in the margin. Which cursive capital W H I C H? Which animal leave some space and write the next spelling? A N I M A L. Which animal is I S is used U S E D used. For riding, R I D I N G, riding. Which animal is used for riding? Put question mark at the end of the question. Here the answer is horse. Horse is used for riding, but we have to write only one word answer. Write answer number four. Cursive capital A small dash four. Answer four, and the answer is horse. Write first letter cursive capital. Cursive capital H. H O R S E. Horse. Full stop. H O R S E. Horse. Question number five is: Which animal is useful for traveling in desert? Camel. Yes, very good, children. Camel is used for traveling in desert. Let's write the question. Question number five. Which animal? W. H 
I C H which animal A N I M A L which animal is useful U S E F U L F O R for traveling T R A V E double L I N G traveling in I N in desert D E double S E R T desert then question mark which animal is useful for traveling in desert camel let's write answer number 5 cursive capital a small dash 5 let's write the answer first letter cursive capital cursive capital c a m e l camel c a m e l camel answer is over so don't forget to put full stop full stop means this small dot dear children today we finished lesson number 1 of science that is domestic animals i hope it will be clear to you in the homework you have to do activity which is given behind the lesson and you have to write question answers in four line book Thank you. Have a nice day.